Day three of a strike for thousands of Minneapolis nurses, and they say patient care at Alina Hospitals is suffering. That is something that Alina denies. Heard of managers calling nurses on the strike line, on the picket line, um, asking them where to find equipment. We've heard of patients who have um, had catheters not being able to be placed after an hour of a replacement worker trying to find the right spot. Nearly 5,000 nurses did walk off the job on Sunday. They're striking largely over health care benefits. They're also talking about workplace safety, staffing ratios. The nurses say they're getting reports inside of Alina Hospitals, as you heard, of a wide range of problems. But Alina officials say it's all working at normal capacity. Alina is using replacement nurses, many hired from out of state, as well as 144 union nurses who have crossed the picket lines. We rather have our own nurses at our bedside. I'll reiterate that over and over again. Uh, but we're really quite pleased with the level of expertise of the nurses who are here um, uh, caring for the patients, which is our promise and our obligation as a health care organization. The strike is scheduled to last seven days. Today marks two months since t two months to the day since Prince died. The Minnesota music icon died April 21st from an accidental painkiller overdose. The big challenge now is dividing up his massive estate, estimated anywhere from 100 to 300 million dollars. Yesterday, a judge sealed documents from people claiming to be his heirs. A hearing is set for next Monday to consider protocols for genetic testing. Minnesotans are not alone in remembering Prince. No, Graham Hoyt, who is known uh, artistically as Mr. G, flew here to spray paint this mural. He made a similar one in Australia and says when Minnesotans saw photos of it on social media, they started pleading for him to come here. Now, this mural is going up on the side of the Chanhassen Cinema. The manager says Prince loved movies. He went to that theater about twice a month. Mr. G is creating the mural for free. He's planning an official presentation to the public tomorrow night at 7. Pretty cool. I think it's just the eyes mm -hmm. on that are so haunting. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Very, well, he's very so cool. talented to be able to capture that on the side of a building, yeah, too. Yeah, really cool. neat. Uh, grocery store wars heating up in the Twin Cities. Hy-Vee's third store is now open. After opening locations in New Hope and Oakdale last year, the Iowa-based chain is open. Is, they actually opened up this morning in Lakeville. The new location is at the corner of Pilot Knob Road and County Road 46. They held a ribbon cutting ceremony yesterday. Hy-Vee has all your typical grocery items and also several specialized departments. New in this store, a fashion section featuring British brand F and F. Big lines too this morning. Yeah, boy, they started at uh, yesterday around six in the evening. So some people waited 12 hours to be the first inside. No. And I think they got like a reusable bag and some apples. So oh, you know what? But you got the honor, the story of being the first. High V's uh, also coming to Brooklyn Park and Egan. Those are just a few months away from wow. opening. When you get to see that kind of excitement about a grocery store, people are crazy about hy yeah. mm -hmm. Well, the oh, yeah. Iowa connection, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people who moved here from Iowa have experience with that store uh, based in Des Moines. So, yeah. They've been uh, waiting a long time for that store, too.